Umbrella Academy Season 2. The opening scene is coming out tomorrow, guys. And by the time you're watching this, it's, pro it's probably already out. So I'm sorry for that, but hey, I've been working on some things. I'm, I'm working on some projects that are going to come to fruition, hopefully in a, in a couple months. But I've been working hard on some things, and I kind of had to take a break from the channel. But I think it's going to be worth it when I get around to showing you what I've been working on. But here's the opening scene, and I'm probably going to have to fast forward through this because I don't want to get a copyright claim. I always get a copyright claim for, for this series for some reason. But if you've seen it, we you know, just wait. I'm going to watch it, and then we can kind of discuss what we kind of uh, glean from this. Oh my God, that was freaking awesome. Okay, the special effects were a little bit rough around the edges, particularly this uh, this opening shot of five walking. You can kind of see the you can kind of see the like the halo that halo that you get when you do green screening or blue screening. Let me turn down. I definitely can't play this video for you because. I did it my way is playing. That's a Frank Sinatra uh, song, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. But it's really appropriate for, for some reason. Okay, this newspaper. You might notice here, it says JFK declares war on Reds. So um, what does that mean? Uh, so... The only thing I can figure is because the first, okay. If you remember from the first season, the, the last thing that happens is everybody gets teleported back at the same time. My five. And I guess this happens right after and he's alone. So I'm assuming that they didn't all return at the same time. So we might have that uh, one of the uh, Star Trek, uh, situation, you know, the, you know that episode. Uh, what was it? I forget the name of the episode. The mirror at the edge of the universe, or something. It was that episode where, um, was it Elizabeth Taylor? She goes back in time and she, she prevents. No, not Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, Bones goes back in time, and he prevents. Elizabeth Taylor from dying and as a result the United States never um, enters into World War II and, and, and because of that the Nazis win and she changes the course of history and she changes everything and pretty much the Federation never happened and all that so I'm assuming they all went back in time and and came out at different points in time or something because I remember from watching the trailer for this show, you pretty much have a situation where it looks like everybody has been living in the past. Because everybody's got the hairdo. I mean, you can even see it in this. Uh, well, I might be wrong about that. Let me see. Everybody has a cool costume this, this season. And it looks like everybody's wearing black. So that's they more they're looking more like a, a a unified team of people. See that everybody's wearing black trench coats and jackets and and whatnot. So I like I'm liking this, but it seems to me that somebody went back in time and they prevented JFK from being assassinated. And as a result, this caused a war between the Soviet Union. In the United States. And an invasion. So this is very. I can't wait to see this now. I mean. <laughs> and I like to see. Uh, Ellen Page. I forget what's the name of her character. Uh, Vanya. I think it's. 
or is that the other girl? But man, she, she's like the Dr. Manhattan of this group. She's just like super powerful. She's like the dark Phoenix pretty much. Cause she of course causes the apocalypse last season. So she's more of like akin to uh, being Jean Grey, Dark Phoenix. So I'm liking all these themes. Um, uh, this whole time travel thing is working. Sometimes you see people do time travel and it's kind of corny. And it, and it seems to me like their powers have gotten some kind of enhancement. Because I remember the guy who throws the knives. I just thought he could control knives, but it never occurred to me that maybe he can he control he could control any kind of metal, it seems like, but not really like the way Magneto does it. Because in this shot right here, let me play that again. He's affecting the paths of these bullets. He pretty much deflects them back at all these guys and kills them. So I'm not sure what his power is. It's because it, 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 here again, he, he had some kind of control over over metal and knives in the last season. And in this instance, he's controlling bullets, both metal. So I'm assuming it has something to do with metal, but you didn't see anything more than that from. Because if he could manipulate metal, he'd be more like Magneto. He'd be doing things akin to what Magneto does. And we haven't seen that. So he has some kind of ma manipulation power, but I'm not clear on what it is. I haven't read the comic books. And, of course, this character too, uh, Claus, I think his name was, um, he's using, he, he really didn't even use his power last season to this extent. He's bringing these ghosts of dead soldiers to fight. I thought that was cool. Um and even her powers, um, I forget her name. I thought she was kind of psychic, but she actually made those guys' head explode. So I thought she just could suggest something and make somebody do it. But this is something else. The fact that she made those guys' head explode, you can't make your... If, if you're suggested to do that by a psychic, you're not going to be able to do it because it's impossible. You can't make your own head explode, so... I'm not sure what her power is either now. I'm going to really do some research after watching this. But I'm very, I can't wait. I, I'm going to, in fact, call me crazy. I might have to wait up at midnight to, to see, it, see this right when it drops. I'm so encouraged by this opening shot. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm really pumped for this show now, man. Great on Netflix. They got... Kind of slapped around by Marvel a little bit. You know, all their great superhero shows got taken away. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and the not-so-great Iron Fist, and Punisher. Oh, my God. What did they have? Six shows? What is that? How many is that? Oh, my God. And they come back with this gym, and they have Stranger Things. So... Good on Netflix for, you know, for not giving up, for just forging ahead. Because they got a hit on their hands with this show, I, I have to tell you. And I, 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 I mean, I have more excitement for this than I had for a lot of those Marvel shows. So, can't wait. Can't wait.